you could have any job in the world, what would you be? Some people would choose to be an astronaut, where you could float peacefully around in space. While others would choose to be a police officer and rest bad people all over the world. However, to me, both those jobs stink. If I could have any job in the world, I would become a farmer. Welcome to 100 Days as a Farmer, where I have to survive 100 days against two hunters in Minecraft. The hunters have to do everything in their power to kill me, and if I die just once, I lose the challenge. However, because it's a 2v1, I get to use the powers of a farmer to help me survive, which get really crazy really fast. Will I be able to survive the next 100 days? Let's find out. Okay, as you can see, I am a noob farmer. And those are the two hunters over there. Boy, that looks like a good plot of land to build our big businesses on. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. The second I leave this block, they have the ability to come attack me. So I have to be very careful the second I leave this block. So that means we'll go in this direction. Now, if I hit my special hotkey, it's gonna open up my farmer menu where I have different fighting abilities, farming abilities, and can upgrade my farmer. So right now I'm a noob farmer, but I can become I'm a master farmer. Okay, let's get going. While they're up top, they'll have to take fall damage. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Give us your crops. Yep, here they come. Let's go. go. This way, this way, this way. Get them. Okay, there's a tree over here in the distance. Let's get to that big tree over there. Okay, they're right on my tail. Okay, we just need a few pieces of wood here. Ready? I'm gonna be able to get two. Yes, we got two. Go. Okay, we get two logs. Let's dive in this water. Okay, there's magma over there. Oh, that's a whale. We don't want to go near that whale. Those whales are deadly. Oh, that didn't work. I tried to punch him in. Wait, can I, can I not punch? Oh my god, I can't punch. I didn't know that was a thing. Let's keep going this way. I have a good lead on them. Shamu! We turn those into blocks. Slightly ahead. Whoa, go, go, go. We got the crafting table. Oh, he's right on my tail. Chicken. No, I'm ready to get a sprint. I gotta kill a seal, dude. Okay, we just need one more log. One more log and we can make a boat. Oh, wait, wait. Are they getting stopped by? Oh, no, one of them's getting attacked and the other one's still on me. There we go. That's the tree I need. Okay, Permore's dead again. Oh! <laughs> no! He seems to die to whales a lot. I can't punch back. I literally can't punch back. Ready to go? You just beat me up. You just beat me up. Let him beat me up. Ah! Okay, you know what? I lose, I lose the crafting table. We're going in the water. We're going in the water. Okay, he definitely can't keep up. They don't have a boat, but it's not going to take him long to get one. Let's just keep going this way for now. Okay, we have definitely lost the hunters at this point, so I think we're safe to stop and look to build a base. So we're going to look around here, obviously, because this looks big, wide open, and there's lots of stuff. So yeah, let's start here. Okay, I just hopped out of my boat, and it turns out I can't break the boat. I'm clicking. It won't break. Oh, wait, here's why. I'm a noob farmer, and I have weakness one, meaning I can't even break a boat. At least there's a smiley face on my overalls that looks happy. Okay, let's just go up this hill. Okay, the dark spot. Spooky cave behind me kind of looks promising, but I'll pass. Ooh, but inside this cool little cave right here, I can make a base in here. This is kind of hidden. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this would make for a sick base. So let's go gather some basic supplies, shall we? And start building this base. While we're at it, let's kill these sheep. Wait, I can't hit any animal. Do I need a sword? Hold up, let me try something. Now can I hurt the sheep? Okay, now I can hit the sheep. Oh my God. It takes like a billion hits to kill a sheep. Okay, we got three wool. And tomorrow we'll get started on the base. I spend the next two days just finishing up our starter base. But here's where the fun begins. Now that we have a base, we can start working on farmer upgrades. And these upgrades get crazy. I'm talking vegetable cannons, potato turrets, and so many other insane things. Okay, so while the entrance of the base leaves much to be desired, I went ahead and built this nice little balcony area where we actually built the base. We got our chest there, our furnace is right here, and our crafting table and anvil right there. Right next to this balcony is my way to get down to the mine shaft. I just go right here and climb down this ladder. And then up here is my escape route. I just go up here and follow this way. I still have to light it up, but I don't have enough torches, so we're not gonna worry about that for right now. Probably just put a door in front of it so no mobs spawn in here and come into the base. Yeah, but once you come down this staircase, you're gonna see there's just a little light at the end of the tunnel. You're gonna see some water, you swim out into it, and look, you're at the bottom of the mountain and you appear under the water. Nice and simple. Okay, so with the base complete, it's time to start working on farmer upgrades, the thing we've all been waiting for. The first one I want to go for is called Green Thumb. It's an ability that allows me to grow crops every three seconds, and all crops are going to give me double drops. So I'm basically already going to be an amazing farmer. I just can't punch it. So to get this, we need 128 seeds, 128 dirt, and 64 bone meal. So let's go make a shovel and grab a bunch of seeds and dirt. Okay, we've got 128 dirt. Now let's go get the seeds. Okay, now we got all the seeds. Okay, we're back at the base, but instead of sleeping, I wanna go ahead and finish up the upgrade. All I have to do is kill a bunch of skeletons, and obviously I'm in a cave, so there's gonna be skeletons. So I'm gonna work and just kill a bunch of skeletons through the night, and hopefully that gets me enough bones. Okay, we're back, and we got the bones we need, so let's go ahead, let's turn these into bone meal and do the upgrade. There we 
go. Now we have enough bone meal. And now we can get our first upgrade, green thumb. So now I've unlocked the ability. Let's go try it out. Okay, if I put a piece of dirt right here next to where my infinite water source is, and then I till it and put a seed there, if I right click it with my empty hand, it should grow. Look at that, it did, it did grow. And then I could break it and I should get double. Oh my God, that is so broken. So I can just infinitely go. Oh my God, this is so broken. Infinite food, well, I'm never gonna starve, I'll tell you that. Okay, well that's enough for now. That is that is cool. Let's just turn this into bread. Okay, let's work on our next upgrade. So I wanna go for the farming scythe, which is gonna require three diamond hoes, 32 feathers, and 64 wheat. Now obviously the wheat is easy. I could either go find a village and get it with hay bales, or I could just grow it. Probably just gonna grow it, it's faster. So let's actually quickly do that. Okay, my mini wheat farm is complete. Now let's just plant the seeds and then we're gonna grow them all in. Okay, let's have it all grow in now. Okay, the farm's fully grown in. Now let's just chop it all down. There we go, and the 64 wheat is complete. Now, the feathers are gonna be a bit more tricky because I gotta kill chickens or make a chicken farm. So what I'm gonna do is spend the rest of the day working on getting the diamond hose, and then tomorrow, we'll start to work on the chickens. I should be able to get the diamond hose done today, but we'll see. Okay, we got all the diamonds we need. And now we get the three diamond hose. Now let's go to bed. Now the only thing left we need for the next upgrade is a bunch of feathers. And since it's a video about farming, I feel like just killing chickens wouldn't be worth it. We need to start a chicken farm. And so yeah, I gathered an absolute unit of chickens and I made about six trips back and forth leaving the chickens to my farm. And I'm just getting started. Cause if I'm gonna be a chicken farmer, I gotta make sure to have plenty of chickens since they don't even always drop feathers. Okay, so this is a lot of chickens. <laughs> Chicken. But it's still not enough, and I've still got 19 leads, so let's keep getting more because we're gonna need a lot of chickens, feathers, and yeah. More chickens! Okay, we're almost back to the base. Come on! They keep getting stuck. Here we go. Right. <gasps> no, the hunters! The hunters are here! No, my the chickens! They're literally killing my chickens! We found Ryan's chicken farm. You guys gotta wait. Hold on, hold on. You guys gotta wait. Oh, they're still attached to me. Oh, I don't have any arrows. No! Stay back, chickens. Me. Oh! My chickens! No! Why are they killing my chickens? Hold on, let me get blocks, let me get some blocks. No, the chickens are getting out! Eggs don't knock back anymore, loser! That, he's gotta be it, he's gotta- How is he still alive?! Why am I doing, like, no damage? Dude, they just murdered, like, all my chickens! Uh-oh. Small chicken. Oh, no! He's done. He's gotta be done, right? Yes! Okay, we killed one! I see the other one, I see the other one right here. He's trying to get back to the chickens. Why is he murdering my chickens?! Ding! I don't have an axe, so I gotta be careful here. He's trying to run. I'm not letting him run. I have him here. I have him here. He's building a tower. He's gonna regret that. That's a slow way to do it. Oh, yo, use the bison. Use the bison on your right as a distraction. Well, <laughs> that's one way for the fight to end. Okay, let's go see the damage because all my chickens are free. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, since the farms destroyed, my chickens are everywhere. I'm just gonna kill them and do the upgrade. Goodbye, Harold, Jimmy, James, Greg, Tina, Danny, Weber, Donnie, Rexio, Bronzo, Fozo. Like and subscribe to the video. And after that massacre, we got all the feathers we need. So let's do the upgrade. Well, it's time to retire the chicken farm and retire for the night because that sun is starting to set. So let's go clean up some of the battlefield and then we'll wake up tomorrow. Okay, that was a bit too close. You see, with weakness one, I'm actually really struggling to kill the hunters. Don't get me wrong, the scythe ability is really cool, but I'm just too weak. This weakness one of being a noob farmer is just holding me back. We need to become an adept farmer because it's really not that hard. All we need is wheat and sugar cane. Wheat farm, check. So all we need is a sugar cane farm. So let's gather a bunch of sugar cane so we can start a sugar cane farm. Luckily, there's sugar cane right outside my base, and there's actually a lot of it. Okay, that was 19 sugar cane. Let's see if I can make sugar cane grow. My farmer powers do not make sugar cane grow. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to collect a lot of this stuff by hand. Okay, that should be enough sugar cane. Now let's just plant it all along the coastline. Okay, I planted an absolute boatload of sugar cane, and when that grows in, that will be more than enough sugar cane to do the upgrade. Since we have some time left in the day, let's go ahead and let's just get some wheat done with. We'll get the sack of wheat, and then we're gonna go ahead and go to bed.
Okay, we got 64 wheat. Now we just need our 64 sugar cane to grow in and we'll be all set. Okay, well, we give our sugar cane some more time to grow. I want to look ahead at the different upgrades that I could unlock. And I'm gonna need a lot of different crops, including potatoes, carrots, and you name it. So I figured today, while the sugar cane grew in, we'll go find some villages and collect some crops so we can expand our farm. Well, that didn't take long. There was literally a village just down the river. That's convenient. Let's see what crops they have. Nice, looks like they have carrots and potatoes. However, I still need beetroots. I really don't know where to find those though. So it looks like this village only has one farm, which kind of stinks. So we're gonna go with this nether portal and then go looking for another. Okay, sweet, we found another village and this one has a lot of different seeds. Are these just basic seeds? What is that? Yo, wait, wait, hold up, what is that? Is that pumpkin? Oh, melon. Well, now we have melon seeds, but once again, no oh, beetroot seeds. Once again, kind of a lame village. I'm gonna start heading back to the base. Unfortunately, we only got a few crops. Let's head back to the base. Okay, day 10, let's go check out our sugar cane and see if it's done yet. Oh, that should definitely be enough. Okay, in total that got us 32 sugar cane, which isn't enough, so we're just gonna go ahead and collect some of this back. There we go, now we have 64 sugar cane. Now we can go ahead and do the upgrade and stop being a weak noob farmer. Okay, we got all the supplies on us, let's do this. From weak farmer to regular farmer. You know I'm a regular farmer because I got straw in my mouth. That's how you know I'm not a noob anymore. You know, I got the straw. But you'll also notice I have 15 hearts of HP and you can't see it, but I also have speed too. So I'm even faster than I was before. So now I got three abilities. So next we're gonna work on the animal whisperer ability, which allows me to turn wheat into golden wheat. And then I can feed the golden wheat to an animal and that animal will then fight for me. I could have an army of chickens fighting for me. Think about that. I want that ability. So to get we need nine blocks of gold and 128 wheat. The wheat, easy. So we're gonna go ahead and get the gold blocks. Let's go get one more diamond so we can make a diamond pickaxe and then mine some obsidian. Here we are. Okay, we got 10 obsidian. Let's go make another portal. Okay, the nether portal's complete. I have no idea why my Bruh. screen's glitching out and why I look like this, but I got another portal. I'm gonna quickly reboot my game. Okay, we're in the nether. The hunters definitely just saw that I got that achievement. I gotta be really careful. They've been using my achievements to track me in videos I found out recently, so I know they're watching. Anyway, let's go find a bastion because we need gold. Luckily, using F3, we can go ahead and find the closest bastion simply by looking at the numbers as I spin around. See, it works every time. Let's go ahead and go over here and enter the bastion. Okay, there's one gold block. Nice, here's two more. Oh my God, and an efficiency five diamond pickaxe. Okay, cool, we found one more. Now let's go all the way up there and see if there's any more chests. Found a gold block. Okay, we found one of this one up here, some golden carrots. Yo, this bastion is amazing. Okay, we found another chest, two gold blocks, and a bunch more arrows. We still need one more gold block, and I haven't found any more chests, meaning we can either craft it, or we can go find one in this bastion, because there's probably one hidden somewhere. I know there's one around this area of the bastion where you see these three faces. I just don't remember where. Is it underneath? Oh my, oh my god, it is! Oh my god, there's a bunch down here. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god, I didn't realize there was this much gold in bastions. Is that it? Oh, we definitely have enough. We have 17 gold blocks. Okay, let's head back to the base. Okay, we're back at the base. And as you can see, we got the gold blocks taken care of and all we need is 128 wheat. But first, let's leave. Okay, it's day 11. Let's go ahead and let's unlock this new ability once we get the wheat. We already almost have enough, so we just need to throw in a few seeds here. There we go, we have it just enough. Now we can go ahead and unlock the Animal Whisperer ability. Now let's try it out. So if I take some wheat seeds and I plant them and I grow them into wheat, I can now take this wheat and turn it into golden wheat. And golden wheat's gonna allow me to tame an animal and let it fight for me. So if I give it to this guy, he's now my friend. And if I go and punch this cow, you're gonna see that this cow will now attack that cow. Yay for cannibalism! That was a joke. And you're gonna see if this cow also follows me. As I run around, he's gonna teleport to me. My cow companion, who I'm going to eat for food. Anywho, that's how golden wheat works, and I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, with this ability, I could have a whole animal army following me. The sun's already starting to head down, and I want to do a little bit of mining, so we're gonna do a little mining and then go to bed. Okay, day 12. We gotta pick another crazy farmer power to get. So I'm thinking about either going for intermediate farmer or going for nutritious and delicious, because whenever we eat a fruit or veggie, whoa, hunter, no, there's another one over here. I saw one. Get him, cow, get him. Go let him in the base, dude, I'll let him in the base. He's launching TNT outside. No, he killed me! Okay, one's dead, the cow got him. He's blowing up the outside of the base. Get away, get away, get away. Come on, skeleton, get him. Oh my god, I'm being attacked by mobs. Anyway. No, ow! 
<gasps> yes, the skeleton got him. Okay, the hunters are dead though. That's what matters. My entrance is kind of destroyed though. I guess I'm gonna spend the rest of the day rebuilding my front door. That was the most failed attack I've ever seen. Like, they, <laughs> they didn't even work. In fact, one of them died to my cow. I spent the next five days just fixing up the base to look like it did before. And I worked on some boring mining and whatnot. Because normally after my base gets destroyed, I would have moved to a new one. However, this time I decided to keep the outside of the base looking damaged. So that way if the hunters returned, they would think I had moved. Oh, I found a village. Okay, we finally found one. And do you have beetroot seeds? Okay, I went throughout this entire village. There is not a single crop pile anywhere. We're moving on to the next one. Oh, yo, we got another village. Let's go. Okay, does this village have the crops I need? Let's find out. Okay, there's not a single beetroot here. And once again, there's only one farm in the entire place and it's right here. We're never gonna find beetroots. Oh wait, I broke all the seeds and there was two beetroot seeds. We're saved, oh my God. And now we have two beetroots. Okay, perfect. We have everything we need. Let's go ahead and let's go back to the base. Okay, we're back at the base. Let's go ahead, let's head down here. Let's place all our beetroot seeds just like this. A few wheat seeds like this. And then let's go to bed and we'll get all the crops we need tomorrow. Day 20, one fifth of the way done with this challenge. And just as a reminder, we only need three bowls and 64 of all of those things. So let's get farming. There we go. Now we got a stack of beetroots complete. Now let's get a stack of carrots. There we go, stack of carrots complete. Now let's do potatoes. Okay, now we're done with the potatoes. Let's add the carrots and the potatoes to the chest. Now we just need a stack of wheat, which surprisingly wheat is the most annoying one to do because it has the lowest yield of crop. So I gotta do this a lot more times with wheat than I do with the other ones. There we go, now we have the stack of wheat as well. Now let's just make three bowls and now we can unlock nutritious and delicious. And it's unlocked. So whenever I eat a vegetable, fruit, or even bread, I get regen too. <laughs> I now have regen too. Being a farmer's OP, this is great. Ba -ba -da -ba, day 21. Okay, but for real, let's pick our next upgrade we're gonna work on. I wanna work on this upgrade called Hard Work Pays Off. I gain resistance too and fire resistance, and I no longer have a swing speed cooldown, meaning I can spam click. So to do this upgrade, we basically need the same exact stuff. We need to get double the crops we just got, so 128 of each, and then we have to add on 128 nether warts as well. So once again, we have to go get a new crop, so let's go find ourselves some nether warts. It would take me two full days to find a nether fortress where I could get nether warts. I legit looked everywhere in the nether, and I just couldn't find one. That is, until I saw in chat that the hunters had found a nether fortress. So instead, I went and found their base and went through their nether portal. Once I was through, I followed their paths and I found a nether fortress. However, the hunters were still there. Okay, this is their fortress. Oh, did I just see what I do? I see them. They're literally at the fortress right now. I don't think they know I'm behind them. Oh my God, hold up. Let's get him. Oh, they know I'm here now. Is there an easier way up there? Nether warts. Okay, we got 24 nether warts. Oh, they're up here, they're above me, they're above me. Right there. Oh, that hurts. Oh, my oh God. fire! Okay, I killed one, I killed one with the scythe, but uh, it's not coming back this time. Uh-oh. Oh no, there it is. Oh, I'm getting hit by a blaze. Not the time blaze, friend. Okay, let's get up there, let's get the other one. Got him, he's gonna bleed to death. Let's get him with the red bed. Okay, he literally does not know we're behind him. Okay, he's fighting, oh, he definitely sees me now. That's not gonna do anything. I got it. See if I can block him off. Okay, here we go, here we go. We're gonna mess up a little bit. Dude, okay, I have an idea. What is he? doesn't know what I'm gonna do. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, no, no. Oh, God! Oh, no! Oh! That's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> okay, they're dead. Let's go ahead. We got the nether warts. Now let's go quickly get a blaze rod real quick. <laughs> There we go, a blaze rod. You know, I'm just almost dead. Okay, let's get going back to the base and get the rest of the items for the nutritious and delicious upgrade. Okay, day 25. So to grow the nether warts, we just simply have to do this. Put them down and break them and it doubles. So let's go ahead and just keep doing that. There we go, two stacks of nether warts. Now we just need 128 of carrots, potatoes, beetroot, and wheat. Let's start with the potatoes. There we go, now we're done with potatoes. Now let's do carrots. And we're done with carrots. Let's grab our beetroot seeds. There we go, we're done with the beetroots. Now let's get 128 wheat. And now we have the wheat as well. And if we look at the upgrade, we can now do hard work pays off. So let's do it. 
So if we look, when I swing my sword, I no longer have that dumb icon, meaning I have a cooldown. I can now spam click my sword. I also take no more damage in lava, so that's fun. Okay, day 26. I'm also feeling a little mischievous, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple of TNT and blow up the hunter's base just cause I can. I'm not really gonna fight them. I'm just gonna blow it up and run. I just wanna annoy them. Okay, their base is just up ahead. There we go. Let's just quickly get inside and we're gonna set off the TNT. Now, I just realized something. I don't have a flint and steel or anything to set it off, but luckily there's a redstone torch on top. I'm gonna steal that and use it to set it off. Oh my God, he literally doesn't see me. I just got right past him. And they're gonna think it's each other making the noises, I think. Okay, let's go up here. Thank you. Okay, now let's drop some TNT from above. Ready? Right there. Back off. Uh oh. Dang. Hey. Are you oh, late? God. TNT. And let's do one more by the front door, shall we? Oh, yes. Okay, good enough. Okay. Ooh. Put your chair. Oh, I fell. Oh, you're bleeding though. Ooh He's bleeding again. No. No, we got him with the bleed. Oh, but their bed's still there. I gotta destroy the bed. Oh, his bed was destroyed. Yes, I destroyed his bed now. He's trying to put it back. No way. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, we oh, missed with it. No. He's trying to get back in the base. That bleed's going to hurt, though. Yeah, we got him. There's nothing really that useful. Let's just go ahead and get out of here. After damaging the hunter's base, I started working on becoming the next farmer. 15 health was just not cutting it. So I gathered up 32 slime balls, grew 128 potatoes, and then I just needed some strength potions and I could become the next farmer. Okay, we got two fighting upgrades left to go, three farmer upgrades left to go, and three farming upgrades left to go. That is confusing. But to make it simple, we're gonna go for golden touch next. And we need 12 apples for it. So we're gonna go ahead and make our way to the forest and start breaking a bunch of leaves and hopefully get some apples. Okay, let's just go ahead and go to the forest right up the hill. Okay, here's the forest. Let's go get ourselves some apples. There's gotta be some apples. Whoa, hunters! Oh, you don't like that, do you? Oh, he has knockback! Raccoon, you're fighting for me! Get him, raccoon! Where's the other one? Did man just use T? They have TNT. They're trying to blow up my base. I need to get back to the base. Okay, we made it back to the base. I don't think they're- No, they're here! They're definitely here! Okay, one's down. Let's go get this guy. Where'd he go? I hear him. He's below me. He's somewhere below. Oh, he's right over there. Oh, I'm out of blocks. He's trying to block me off. No, he's literally trying to blow up my base. No! Oh! We can still get him. We can still get him. He's bleeding. Oh! We got him. Oh, he messed up the base bad, though. No, dude. Dang it. Well, there goes the base. Okay, so maybe living in the same spot where my base got attacked before wasn't a good idea. They quickly came back and destroyed it again. This time, I'm moving, and it's time to make the farmer base 2.0. Now, this base is gonna have a fake base on top of the real base, which is gonna be hidden below. It even has a multi-layer farm for each of the major crops that I've found so far. Additionally, I finished off the intermediate farmer upgrade and only had two more farmers till I could reach the master upgrade. Welcome to the farmer base version 2.0. Now, I know this base looks basic, but trust me, it is anything but. Let me show you around. First things first, to get into the base, you have a basic water entrance with soul sand to shoot us up in the air and magma to take us back down. Now, the entrance to the base is actually super hidden. It's just at the bottom of this hill in this little lake. You dive into the lake, you turn to the left side, and you're going to see these bubbles, and you're down at the base. But what makes this base extra cool is that it has a hidden feature, literally. If you go to the corner right next to the nether portal and break the carpet, you're going to find some scaffolding. And if I hold shift on this scaffolding, I'm going to start to go down. And when we get down here, we get to the lower part of the base. The real base. Upstairs is a decoy. So we have our chest and furnace room really in here with our chest over to the left and the right side. We have an enchanting room right in here. We sleep right here. Right here is our wheat farm. That's our potato farm, carrot farm, and our beetroot farm. This base is much better for a farmer. But now it's time to get back to upgrades. So obviously we want to go ahead and get golden touch. And before we had all the gold we needed, but then our base kind of went... And now we don't. So we gotta go ahead and get more gold, get the apples, and make another enchanting table. So let's start by mining all the gold we need. Okay, gold smelted and in the chest. Now let's go up to the surface and go get ourselves some apples. Okay, we had to cut down a small forest, but we got the 12 apples we needed. While we're out, let's kill these cows for their leather because we're gonna need to make an enchanting table. Let's grab this sugar cane to make books. Now let's go back to the base. Let's go ahead and grab a diamond and some obsidian. Let's make two books. Now let's make an enchanting table. There we go. Apples and enchanting table, check. Gold, check. Let's go ahead and get gold in touch. Now if we break leaves without a tool, we can get a god apple. But we'll test it tomorrow. Let's go to sleep. And we can go ahead and get the strength potions we need to become an intermediate farmer. Because, well, we already got the potatoes and slime balls, so might as well. 
Okay, day 43. Let's wrap up the intermediate farmer today because then we're gonna have two upgrades left in each group. And luckily, strength potions are super easy to make, so we'll just run to the nether and gather spice real quick. Okay, that should be enough blaze rods. Okay, let's let the sand smell real quick. Now let's turn them into glass bottles. Let's fill them with water. Now let's make a brewing stand. Put the three water bottles in it, throw some blaze powder in, and then we're gonna turn these into awkward potions. Now to turn them into strength potions, we just add a blaze powder. Now we have three potions of strength. And if we look, that takes care of that. Now let's grab our slime balls and potatoes. Let's grab our slime balls and let's go grow our potatoes. There we go. Now we have everything to become an intermediate farmer. Let's do it. Ba -ba -da -ba. Now I look the exact same, but I have green hands. Get it? Like a green thumb, like a farmer. Okay, I'll stop. Okay, that's another upgrade down. And now we only have two upgrades to go in each slot. We have vegetable cannon, potato turret, entangle, plant fiber wings, expert farmer, and the master farmer. Next, I'm likely to work on the vegetable cannon. I'm gonna go ahead and mine for some of the iron and redstone it needs. We're done mining. Let's head back down. Let's get these ores smelting. Okay, well the iron, the gold, and the sand smelt. Now we need to begin killing creepers for their gunpowder. Because we still need 64 gunpowder to complete the upgrade. And that should be all we need. We currently have 25, so let's go kill some creepers. gunpowder I need, so we're gonna go back to the base, grab the rest of the supplies, and then test out our brand new cannon. And there's the glass we need. And turn this gold into gold nuggets. Now we can go ahead and get the vegetable cannon. Which you're gonna see has popped into my inventory. It's a literal handheld cannon. Now let's quickly go to bed so I can show you what this cannon will do in the morning. Okay, we're on the surface, let's try this cannon out. So right now it's in carrot mode. Which allows me to shoot rapid fire carrots at enemies. It is a potato mode that shoots potatoes like a shotgun. It is a beetroot mode which shoots beetroots like RPGs. And yeah, that's it. So it's got three insane modes. A machine gun, a shotgun, and an RPG. The only thing I gotta do is provide the ammo, which comes in the form of beetroots, potatoes, and carrots. Now I gotta try this thing out against the hunters. So let's go farm a bunch of ammo and go test it against their base. Ah, there's their base. I literally see their names. Their names are right in this ice thing. I see a light down there too. He sees me. Oh, okay, there's a whale coming. I have an idea. Can I befriend this whale with my golden wheat? Let me try something. Oh, I cannot befriend the whale and they know I'm here. Let's show them our cannon, shall we? Okay, let's show them what potato does. Okay, they're going back to their base, actually. This is our chance. Let's, in fact, blow our way into the base. Let's break some of these blocks. Dude, I can decimate their base from in here. Oh, they're behind me! Oh, we're low. Okay, I got an idea, I got an idea. Okay, let's get with the shotgun. Oh. oh, we got him! Where's the other one? I don't see him. Let's make sure their beds are destroyed inside. Okay, I got an idea. Ready? Let's go this way. Okay, nice. We're back in the base. Let's destroy his bed. There we go. His is gone. Nice. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Dude, the whale jumped out of the water. Is it going out? Oh my god. He's gonna kill by a whale! Dude, look at it. It's diving for him. Let's see if we can hit him in the water. Dude, <laughs> the whale killed him! <laughs> Let's go, dude. That was the best way to test this vegetable cannon. After destroying the hunter's base yet again, I knew my farmer was only gonna get more OP from here. The next ability we wanna unlock is called Entangle, which allows me to stop enemies from moving if I hit them with the ability. However, to unlock it, I need an absolute boatload of vines and three slowness potions. Okay, so we need a lot of stuff for Entangle, which I probably just went over in the narration before this. Today, we need to get the 64 vines and the 64 leaves. My helmet and chest Play kind of stink, but check out these boots though. So we're gonna go ahead and go find some vines and go find some leaves and just cut them down. Let's go over here and grab some leaves. Okay, 64 leaves done. Let's go find some vines. And we 
we got the vines. Now let's go back to the base before the sun fully goes down. Okay, we're gonna put the vines and the leaves in this chest next to my bed, and we're gonna go to sleep. Tomorrow, we're gonna go ahead and get the bone meal and the three slowness potions, if I can get it all done in one day. We'll try. Okay, so we need a stack of bone meal, which means getting bones, which I thought I had some, but apparently, uh, I do. 14. Okay, I do have bones. How much bone meal is that? 42. So I shouldn't have to kill that many skeletons. Let's see how many I can find. There we go, 64 bone meal. Okay, killing the skeletons took longer than I thought, so, uh, we're gonna go to bed and have to do the slowness potions tomorrow. Okay, so making slowness potions is a bit tricky. We're gonna make a speed potion, I'm gonna get a fermented spider eye, and that'll turn into a slowness potion. Now, to make a fermented spider eye, we need a brown mushroom, a spider eye, and a sugar. Which, I have the spider eye, I don't have the sugar, and I definitely don't have the brown mushroom. So let's start by getting those first. Okay, here's some sugar. Now let's go find a brown mushroom. The big brown mushroom. Okay, give me one. I just need one. I literally just need one. Yes, thank you. There we go. Eight brown mushrooms. That took all day? I guess I had to do a lot of traveling, but dang. Okay, now we just need to go ahead and get the ingredients to make the potions. Okay, that crafts the fermented spider eyes. Now we had the fermented spider eye, and these speed potions are gonna turn into slowness potions. And there we go. Three potions of slowness. So if we grab our vines and our leaves, we can now unlock and tangle. So let's go ahead and unlock it. Yeah, you know we gotta try this thing out. If I hit my two key, I put a vine out. And you can see that it's hurting him and he's slow and he can't move. So I'd say that's pretty cool. I kind of want to try it on the hunters, to be honest. But we'll worry about that tomorrow. For the rest of the day, I'm just going to do a little bit of farming, so I have tons of ammo ready. Okay, today we're going to do something really, really fun. We're going to mess with the hunters because I found their new base. And since we have the new entangle ability, it gives me a chance to try it out, so uh, let's go mess with them. Oh yeah, dude. This base, this is guarded. I'd be surprised if Ryan manages to destroy this. This is goaded. Oh god! Oh, he's destroying it! <laughs> You had to open no. your big mouth. Get out of here. We got to get him with Entangle. Here we go. Ready? Oh, what's that? You can't move, can you? Oh, that really stinks, doesn't it? Oh, he's done all right. Oh, there's a dog. Let's bring it on their base. Ready? Come on. Yes, good yes. A blue bed. Oh, he's in here. Yes, the other one is right here. Let's go. Let's get this bed as well. That is a lot of doggies. Okay, let's get him with Entangle again. Ready? Okay, doggies, get Entangled. Now you're blind and dead. My dogs. Oh, yeah! We got him with a snipe, dude! Oh, God. Okay, you know what? No, we're getting out of here. Bye-bye! Okay, after kicking the hunter's butt, it is day 56, and it is time to turn into the next farmer. To become the next farmer, we literally just need 192 carrots, 40 leather, 10 diamonds, and a sticky piston. I need a lot of leather, which I think I have in here somewhere. Okay, I was wrong. I just have a lot of wood. That's what we're gonna work on today. Getting the 40 leather we need to become the next, like, uh... Oh! Yo, the hunters are here! Please sees this. Let's do it! Remember, place redstone torches first, and then TNT next to them. Dude, I just want to get leather! No! Okay, wait, keep away from the real base. Just keep away from the real base. Let them think they destroy it. Let them think they destroy it. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. This is gonna hurt, this is gonna hurt. Okay, we killed him. The other one's... Oh, he's here, he's here. He's almost done. He's bleeding. There we go. See you later. Okay, we have him dead, but they just took out my fake base. Okay, well, this place is absolutely destroyed. We definitely can't use this as an entrance anymore. So let's go ahead and seal off the upper base forever, and we'll have to find another entrance later. Okay, so they kind of destroyed the upper base, so today we have to build a new exit, because uh, our decoy exit is now kind of uh, gone. So I think I'm going to build this exit in the farm, since it's already kind of a tube. So what I'm going to do is pick one of the water spots and have it be a water tube that goes all the way up. I just have to make sure everything's a water source block, which could be a pain. But let's start. Okay, I finished it. I ended up changing the design a little because I realized making these waters here into source blocks was going to be a pain. So what I did was I swim up this water here, and then up the ladder is this room right here. The soul sand doesn't push me up all the way, just enough to get out of this little base, and then I can quickly escape right into the same lake I was in before, except now I'm on the back side instead of the front. I'd say that is a successful brand new base. So we might as well start working on our next upgrade, and I want to become an expert farmer. So I get 25 hearts, strength 2, speed 2, and jump boost too. In all, I need 192 carrots, but I should be able to do that before the end of the day, and then we can sleep and start working on the rest of it tomorrow. Let's gather them and see how many we get. And carrots done. Next for the expert farmer, we need 10 total diamonds. So uh, let's go mining. Okay, we'll put the diamonds in here, and tomorrow we'll work on getting all the mob drops like the leather and the slimes. I'm sorry, cow, but I need your leather. Time to die. Okay, leather complete. Okay, it's day 60 and we are an expert farmer. I recorded doing the upgrade, but OBS crashed, so you can't see it anymore. Okay, now there's only one more upgrade to go in every single category. And with my farmer hat on, it's gonna be super easy to do. He's just standing there. Yo, partner, I think he's AFK. You got an idea? You're ready for this? I'll try and onto that. Okay. 
like this, and then set up a bunch of TNT. Oh. And when he steps off of it, it'll blow up everywhere. You know, partner, we could just push him off right now. No, I, I kind of want to know. I want to see a reaction. That'd be that's that'd be not cheap. here in the spirit of the challenge. There's a ladder here. Let's hide down here in this potato farm. Okay, recording software is good. Let's open Minecraft. Whoa! Why is there team? Dude, the hunters are here. If I move from this pressure plate, it's gonna set off. I, I could try breaking the redstone, but once again, that does all it is gonna do is set it off. Okay, I think my only chance at survival is to go deep in the farm towards the mine shaft. Okay, goodbye, base number two. Run, 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 run. Oh, dude, no. I'm gonna bleed you to death for that, dude. They just made me blow up my own base. Okay, one's down. Yes, we got him. No, dude, everything's gone in here. No way. Oh, dude, this base is gone. I should have known the hunters would come back and destroy the base. After all, it happened to the first one. I'm not going to make the same mistake again. This time, I'm going to build what I'm going to call the Farmer's Vault. A farmer base that is not only going to be near impossible to destroy, but is also going to be near impossible to find. Welcome to the Farmer's Vault. That is right. This is our new base. Doesn't it look so sick? This is the entrance. I'll, I'll explain explain this later, but you don't see an exit. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and give the full tour of the base and take a guess in the comment section below where you think the exit's gonna be. And then edit your comment afterward, let us know if you got it. Right here we got the enchanting room, and down this really long hallway we got the farm. And the farm is pretty much the same layout as before, with the top being wheat, then potatoes, then carrots, then beetroot. Did you spot the hidden exit? Well, I'll show you where it is. If you go to this lava patch right here and swim through it, on the other side there's another water patch that'll launch you all the way up and out of the base. And then we follow this tunnel, which leads to a water patch, and it spits us out into to the middle of a village. I think this is gonna be near impossible to find. But even more impossible is how you get into the base. Now, if I run around this village, you may not notice anything out of the ordinary. You have tons of buildings that look, you know, villagey, including this one. But this is no ordinary village base. If you look really closely, you'll notice things like a window that doesn't see anything. But that's part of the fun. So if we enter the base, you're gonna notice you enter into this room. If you come up here, you're gonna see a note block, and apparently I missed some blocks, so I gotta fix that. However, you just come back here. Here, press this button and run and then you fall in this hole and we're back at the base This might just be my most hidden base ever. Okay, with that out of the way now It's time to start working on completing our final three upgrades and the next upgrade We're gonna go for is the potato turret so to get that we need 128 redstone 64 gold ingots 64 iron ingots 16 diamonds <gasps> And 500 potatoes and another stock. We're gonna start by going to kill some wither skeletons so we can get their skulls and uh, Eventually summon a wither <laughs> We got the three skulls. That wasn't too bad. Now let's go grab some soul sin and head back to the base. Okay, and it's nighttime, so let's go to bed, and then tomorrow, we're gonna fight that wither. So, it's time to fight the wither. However, while my armor's currently okay, my sword and weaponry kinda overall stinks. So, we're gonna make an OP sword and bow just to make sure this wither fight is a cinch. And then we're gonna use our helping hand ability to get a bunch of animals to fight the wither for us. First things first, let's enchant the sword. Okay, it's just sharpness two, but I'll take that. Now to enchant a bow. Let's give it power four, that's perfect. Now let's go gather an army of animals. Okay, the sun is setting, but I have my animal army ready to fight the wither tomorrow. It is so laggy with all these animals. You have no idea. Our server is dying, but it's totally worth it. So we're gonna go find a village nearby, sleep, and tomorrow we'll go fight the wither. Okay, day 72, let's fight this bad boy. This looks like a decent place to have the fight, so let's put everything down. Fight him! I'll get him to the ground so that my animals can murder him. Come on, get him, crow, get him! I see the crow going for him, dude. He's coming down, get him, team, yes. Wither's dead, and we got our nether star. Rest in peace, animal army, you were short-lived even if you lagged my entire server. Okay, now that we get the nether star, we just need to go ahead and get a bunch of ores and five, yeah, 500 potatoes. Luckily, as a farmer though, 500 potatoes should be a cinch. Let's get to work. Okay, potatoes done. Now let's start going mining for the redstone, gold, iron, and diamonds. Okay, all the ores finished smelting, and now we can go ahead and do the upgrade. Now we can unlock the potato turret. Now it's not gonna shoot at me, but it should shoot at anyone who isn't me. Now we have two upgrades to go. Master farmer and plant fiber wings. And both require things from the end. So it's time to head to the nether and start getting the supplies for Eyes of Ender. And we're on top of a bastion. Ooh, a chest. Ooh, a chest with a netherite scrap and three gold blocks. And on the other side. And there's three more there too. And another one right here. That should definitely be enough gold. Now we just have to go ahead and trap a couple of piglins in a hole and then trade with them. Oh, we got ender pearls already. No way. How many did we get? We already got four. Let's go. I was building the wall. Okay, and all we got 19 total ender pearls and all this stuff, but most of it's staying here. So now let's go gather some blaze rods. Okay, we've got the blaze rods now. Let's go back to our portal and make the eyes of ender. Okay, back in the portal. 
Now let's go to bed. Okay, we gotta head to the portal, so let's go ahead and turn the blaze rod into blaze powder, and let's combine that with our ender pearls, and now we have 16 eyes of ender, which should be enough. Oh, I also found this guy outside last night, and he had a flower, so I captured him. He's kind of cute. Anyway, let's make our way to the end portal. Oh, is that it? That literally is it. That's stone brick, isn't it? I literally found it. Okay, let's get to the portal inside. Okay, this is the main hall of the end fortress. Let's just clear off rooms one by one. Oh, oh, he's coming, partner. Be ready. That, that, oh my god, Donner's here. Donner's here. That's it, I'm blasting that wall. Boom! They were waiting for me here, but it ain't gonna be enough, baby. Nice, we activated it. Oh, they're gonna come right in. They're gonna come right in. I gotta go quick. I gotta go quick. Oh, this is a bad spawn spot, dude. Wait, does he not see me? One hunter down! I can't believe he didn't see me. Okay, we got one hunter down. No, there's still a hunter left, though. There we go, it's gone. All the healers are gone. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! How is he getting up here? Yes, okay, one of them's down. Oh my goodness, no, he got me. Let's make you bleed. Oh, we got him! Sit down! Okay, now we just gotta go ahead and uh, kill the dragon. Two more hits and he's done. Oh, he went flying! Grab all that XP and grab ourselves that dragon egg. There we go. And we got the dragon egg. Now we just need to go ahead and get some elytra. After getting the dragon egg, I made my way to the outer end and started looking for elytra. And of course, with my luck, it would take quite a few end cities till I found one with an end ship that would allow me to get elytra. Okay, let's get to the end ship and let's go grab that elytra. And the elytra, there we go. Now let's make our way back to the portal and return to our base. And we're back at the base. Okay, with only two upgrades left to go, we have the hardest items already completed. For the plant fiber wings, we just need 128 leaves, 128 vines, and 10 blocks of grass. For the master farmer, we need 256 beetroot, 20 emeralds, 20 diamonds, and the dragon egg we already have. Let's work on getting silk touch so we can get some grass blocks and get ourselves some plant fiber wings. Okay, let's go to the enchanting table. I got a bunch of shovels and let's see if we can get silk touch. There we go. Third time's the try. We already got silk touch taken care of. That was nice and easy. Now let's head upstairs and go grab the grass blocks that we need. Now let's grab 10 blocks of grass and that'll do. Let's put the grass in the bottom of this chest and store up the rest of the shovels. Now let's work on making a smithing table so we can upgrade our sword into netherite. Now we just need three more netherite scraps and we'll be able to make a netherite ingot, which will then get us obviously a netherite sword. But anyway, it's getting late, so let's go to bed and get working on the upgrades again tomorrow. Okay, next up we just need the leaves and the vines, which again is super easy to do. Let's just make ourselves a few shears. There we go, that's four pairs of shears. That should be enough. Now let's go grab the leaves and vines. Okay, vines and leaves complete. Let's make our way back to the base. Okay, we have everything in our inventory. Let's do the upgrade. We now have plant fiber wings that allow us to fly like elytra, and we can boost up into the air using them. If I'm over here in this plains and I need to fly, I can hit my hotkey and it will boost me into the air, which allows me to fly and get away. So I can go ahead and get some distance and then do the exact same ability again. Only one more upgrade to go, yes, woo! All we gotta do is become a master farmer, which requires 20 emeralds, 20 diamonds, and 256 beetroots. Since my beetroot farm looks nice and done, let's see how many beetroot we get from cropping these real quick and see if it's enough to get the upgrade. We need 256 total beetroot, which is quite a bit. This is an interesting village. This house doesn't look real. This entrance looked like it was added on. Nice, that is enough beetroot. Wait, wait. Oh, my turret's going off. It just killed one of them. Go, 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 go. They're at the base. Where's the other one? Oh, he fell. Here he is. Get him, turret. No, he's taking stuff. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, no. I'm going to die. Nice. Yes. The potato turrets. They saved the day. Thank you, potato turrets. Okay. They almost got my base there, but that shows they actually know how to get in. Dang, man. I thought this base was so hidden. How'd they find that? Now we got to go ahead and get the diamond and emeralds because we're already done with the beetroot. So let's get to work. Okay, and we're back with everything we need to do this upgrade. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba! Now I'm huge, buff, got a cowboy hat, got my green thumbs, got the straw in my mouth. Dude, I'm basically just set. I am the ultimate farmer. Though I don't really fit in my base anymore. I'm kind of too tall for a lot of it. So we're gonna work on fixing that over the next couple days and resizing this place to the best of our ability. And definitely gonna add more protection because I guarantee you the hunters will be back soon. After getting the final upgrade, the hunters wouldn't show up again until day 96. And when they did show up, they truly brought as much firepower as they could to take me out. Okay, good. Now now our farm is completely accessible. We, you know, we just had to widen it a little bit. Uh, how about you go first this time, buddy? You I'm, know? I'm just going to break it. <laughs> All right, good luck. Nice try. I'm going. <laughs> On my own accord, not because you hit me. Okay, well now that that's done, let's. Oh, the turrets are going off. They're literally here. Get them, turrets. Get them. Oh, they're blocking it. No, no. I need to get by. I'm so big, it's gonna be hard to navigate my own base. 
One's down. Oh my God. He hit me really hard. He's trying to block me off. Let's get our pickaxe. We can, we can get to him. We can get to him. No way am I letting him get far. He's done. See you later. You know what? I'm going to attack their base. I'm so strong at this point. I don't think they could even stop me. That's how OP I am. Let's head back to their base and let's go mess with them for the final few days. Okay, this is their base. And I just saw one of them go in, so I know they're here. One bed gone. Let's go this way. Oh, they hit me down. I'm so big, they can just hit me. Let's break the bed. Nice, it's broken. Both beds are broken. Now let's kill them and let's take over their base. He's standing around the iron golem, so I hit the golems, but I don't want to hit them because they'll attack. Oh, now he's getting attacked by his own golem. Oh, I never mind. Now I'm getting attacked by the golems. Okay, let's start destroying this base. Oh, he hit me down. Okay, that's some fall damage, but we're doing good. Their base is taking a ton of damage. Okay, that's gotta hurt, he's bleeding. Yes, one's down! He's bleeding too! That's gonna kill him, that's definitely gonna kill him. Oh, he's so low, dude. Would you just get out of here, Gollum? He's trying to run, he's bleeding. We got him, we got him. Yes, let's go! Base equals mine. You can have it, nerd. Dude, they're just surrendering like that? Get you, wait, wait. Oh wait, do they have another base? Is this not their main base? That base was old. This is their old base, dude, they have a new one. Oh, how did I not even realize? Okay, we gotta go find their new base. This is their base. It is a lava walled contraption. They, they think they can stop me, but I can just boost myself up in Elytra. Luckily, we can, we can kind of like boost ourselves. Let's go up. And now we're above them, let's go. Okay, one of them's outside. This is our chance. We need to get to their beds and they have an obsidian layer on top. Luckily the sides are all cobblestone it appears. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's get our beetroot gun out and let's shoot these walls. See, lava doesn't hurt me, so I can just blast through these things. Okay, let's go through this lava. We're almost in the base, and we're in. He's breaking in. Okay, let's take out their beds. Their beds are down here. Oh, he's trying to block them off. No, you don't. One bed gone. We need to get rid of the second one. The other one's still good. Nice, both beds are gone. I'm on half a heart. Oh my God, these jukes, these jukes. Ah. Oh. He's done! Yes! That's one of them gone! Oh, let's go! He doesn't know that I actually made multiple uh, beds. Let's see if we can blow him up with this. Let's just blow him up. Wait, what? There's still one alive? How? I just, uh, I definitely destroyed his bed. I'm on a heart. I'm on a heart. I'm on a heart. I got you. Thank you. <laughs> He's done. See you later, dude. Oh, this one's trapped. This one's trapped. We got to beat. We got to beat. We literally got to beat. Oh, he protected his bed. Let's break the bed. Nice. The bed's broken. He's done. He's got to be done. Yes. Let's go. We killed him, dude. This base is mine. They're done. Any more bases? Or are you finally done? I knew it. That means we've basically won. I'd say that's a victory for me because you guys have pretty much nothing at this point. There's no way you're killing me in two days. Yeah, you're right. No, we give up. We give up. Yeah. I didn't think you'd be this good as a farmer, dude. Dude, the <laughs> farmer is OP. And so the farmer wins. So since there were still two days remaining, I made the hunters work on all of my farms until day 100 to teach them a lesson. Thanks for watching.